Hey, Orange One here, and welcome to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead Metro Edition. <laughs> it like it does very much feel like it looked like we were in this like cave, and we we're pretty far away from that lab that we were at earlier. Um, there wasn't really much else to it. I kind of looted what I could, and we do have a fair amount of bullets left, so I'm not gonna be like holding on to them all that carefully. And we got these guys called Chuds. Which, if you've never heard of them, they're, um, is like crazy humanoids that are just like gone mad. And I've heard that then the new patch has got me more things kind of like that. But in the version that I'm playing, they're not. So these guys basically, if you look at them, oh, hold on. If you look at them, they're just humans, and if you like butcher them, you get human flesh. We also got a crawler right here, which seems to think it can kill me. It's it's definitely mistaken. It's, it was pretty badly hurt. It looks like it was fighting against uh, some chuds. Oh my gosh, these chuds! One of them was carrying a steel chain, and they like were beating this uh, crawler, which is if you don't know what a crawler is. It's basically this mutated uh, human thing. Yeah, it's this is a crazy little uh, part of the underground area that I found. It seems like there's some weird action going on like down below here. So I think that there's something weird going on in Winchenden. I feel like in the sewer system or something there might be a, a chud colony or something that uh, I'm seeing some spawn from. Yeah, I wanted to play around with the bleeding mechanic, but I, uh, I keep on getting this like game crashing error. Uh, I think it reads something like... Yeah, just look, I'm just rolling through here. These guys, I think I actually drove over earlier. I had a little uh, cart when I came down here, but it got broken. Oh, there's some shotgun slugs. Okay. I uh, can't take them all. I don't know if I really want to take them at all, to be honest. Oh, hello. I better not get putrid air. Oh, we got a hungry zombie here. They get a little closer. Do a little bit more damage, I think, when they're a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, it's down. Anyone else? Not really seeing anyone else. What do we have here? Cyclopean. I think that's uh, like kind of like a chud. It's like a human, but it's like a one-eyed human. I, I feel like that's like a Futurama reference, but I don't know. You know? It looks like them. Oh god. There's definitely some action going on in that railway station above us. Uh, I'm just curious, does this actually go up north at all? No, this is what I'm talking about. Check this out. So, does this work? No, it does not. This one seems to be busted. Okay, well, that's a shame. Because the other one worked but kind of went off track it was un unfortunate it was a tragic a accident in, in any case we can do this check this out and then it should let us just go through here but we're hearing like some zombies and stuff okay well that's kind of annoying but that's easier than me holding down the button the entire time Cause yeah, I'll get cruising. Here we go. So I'm curious. I think that this was just like a dead end. Dead end. I'm pretty sure. It's kind of like why else would I have kind of stopped there? Okay, there's quite a bit of action going on here. I'm just gonna take over manually for a little bit. Okay, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. I think this looks like it's a dead end. Yeah. Okay, so that's a dead end. Okay. So, yeah. Our, this is basically what... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. We got one of these, these boys here. We're gonna go auto on you, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can't see him. There we go. I can see you now. Uh-oh. Can't see him. Come on, let me get a decent aim. 
Uh, I hate these guys for this reason. They're really annoying to get a good shot at because they keep on getting cloud cover. I mean, I could take a shot like that. I mean, I hit him. Oh, I'm out of ammo currently. Uh, Jiminy Cricket. Just drop it. It's fine. Um, let's see. Come on. Uh, kind of like hard to see, but eh, we almost had a good shot there. Nope. Okay, I'm starting to get the character saying it winded. Okay, I think we got him. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna walk a little bit further up. Maybe not. Uh, there's an ethereal zombie. Let's not be on auto. It just because we still have like 90 something bullets, we're still okay. You know. We still got stuff, like, room to work with, so to speak. And I'm sure there's things above us on the surface that are getting all kinds of work done. Uh-oh. Another one? Uh-oh. This could be trouble for us. Uh, come on. Let me get a good shot. Should I go auto? Yeah, let's go auto. There we go. Can I reload? Actually, yeah. Now we don't have a ton of ammo left. We've got some, like 60 bullets left, so maybe we should be a little bit more cautious now. I do want to, um, because we have used the ammo, at least make sure we get our magazine back. And maybe we couldn't put that. Hold on. Yep, there we go. Let's get the gun back out. Just smash that. Because that's really the one I'm worried about. There is definitely some action going on above us. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Where did you come from? <laughs> okay. Cataclysm. Um, there we go. There's also these guys. I, I knew there was some bodies down here. Oh my gosh, it's crazy what, whatever's going on above us. I think there's zombies like dying like in a building or something. Or maybe they're fighting like ants or something. I don't know what's on the surface near here. There's some... I don't know. I really don't know. I think they might have just been dogpiling on a building or something. Uh, do we have anything to eat? We do not. Okay. Well, that's okay, because, you know, there was food in the other lab, which we're not too far from. And if we just travel back to that on foot... What was this? There was... Uh, oh, yeah, there was some lava. So we'll just quick travel up to that, and then I want to probably do this on foot. Oh, yeah, there was these boxes, which... I think... Yeah, there was, like... I had, like, the C4 that we used, right? So we'll go, it looks like this wreck, whatever caused it, is not really an issue right now, but we are getting very, very warm being by there. Okay, now we're, we're getting back to normal temperature though, okay, cool. Good. And also our flashlight seems to still have battery power, which is great. Um, let's just do a quick travel all the way up there. Yeah, you can see how far we went. <laughs> like, this is kind of why I didn't uh, include the exploration in the episode, you know? Oh, there is this down here, though. I haven't gone this way. What could, what could possibly be that way? What is there, like... I and mean, there might be, like, a subway station in this town. Which has me interested. Oh, look, there's a chud. Oh, whoops. Wrong mode. Not my auto. All these chuds, man. This is crazy. Hello. 
He's also a crawler. Yeah, fight him. Now I guess I gotta kill you though. Because I killed the chuds. Oh, there's another... Oh, he's got me. There we go. You're down. And the nice thing about this is that we also have like pretty good focus currently. I think we're gonna need to start getting our Jane out though. Yeah, but there there's gonna be tons of ammo, I think, in the lab. How much do we have left? We got seven bullets left. Okay. I'm thinking I should probably turn back pretty soon. Oh man, see this is the problem is that it's just, it goes on for so long that you're just like, ah, oh, we're pretty much done, right? I'm done, I'm done. And then it's like, nope, 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 nope. It's actually been a day in game time. There's something, some action going on around here, some fighting. I wonder if I'm like spotting like NPCs on the surface who are like dying um, horribly to zombies. There's like some dude who's just like, he's like, oh well, I'm a gunsmith in this gun shop, and then he's just like devoured. <laughs> it could very well be what's going on. I like how there's like cave people just roaming down here. Like that's very atmospheric and very cool and something I haven't really experienced much of. I have watched, um, you know who does a lot more of this is, uh, if you like this style of game, is crit Seaver oftentimes goes into the tunnel systems under like cities. I've seen a lot of his, his series, he does that. Okay, see what I mean? This just goes on forever and ever and ever. I think that we need to just turn around and go back. Explore the lab. I'm gonna give it like another 30 seconds. We'll see if we find anything interesting, but we probably won't. This is this is honestly what I did for a long time myself. And I might do more of it later, but I think at this point we got we gotta turn around. Nosh says, don't leave me alone. I'm in this tunnel system. I'm very hungry. Below. South and below I hear one. That could be us just like tripping out as well. That's the problem with our characters. It's kind of un he's an unreliable narrator. When he's telling you things that he's hearing things, it's like, ah, I don't know if I believe you there, Nosh. You know? Oh, what do we have here? This could be this could be very good. Okay, here we go. Hey, look at that. There's dinner right there. We're gonna heat that up. We're gonna chow down on that. And then let's see. Heat that. And I'm gonna just drink that milk as well. Yum. Okay. Our character just had a good good meal. Uh what's in here? A little grenade? Sure. I'll take the grenade. The flashbang. I don't really need a flashbang. I've never really found a use for them. You never really run into humans, which I think is the only situation where it really, really comes in helpful. We might just want to fall asleep somewhere in the subway. I don't know. This is kind of crazy. And we did get food, so I kind of feel like we should just kind of push up a little bit. Because we can sleep, honestly, wherever. Oh, look, there's a smoker, so that means there's probably a way up or down from here. Yeah, come here. There we go. Smoker's down. What else is around here in these tunnels? And I could turn on my infrared vision. Oh, look at this. What's this? Probably just like, yeah, some clothes. Empty canteen, day pack. Oh, and there's a roll mat. We could sleep on that. It really came to that. Yeah, it's kind of strange. It was just that smoker with those uh, clothes there. Okay, here we go. This is more of what I'm ex I was expecting. Is this a dead end? It is. Okay, well. You saw us. Um, oh, hello. Explore. Just gonna back up. 
Because I don't think I honestly need to even fight these guys. Just gonna back up a little bit and have you guys go on those chain tracks a little bit. Because you're dumb zombies and you can't figure that out. Um, what was these other items? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna get uh, the things off my legs. I'll just take care of that. And then we'll just keep on rolling, but let's actually just reload this. Yep. And I'll be on my way. I'll see a zombie hollow. The guy doesn't seem to be as fast for some reason. I don't know. I thought that those guys were fairly fast. Oh my gosh, look how far we went. Can I just have us like go all the way back home, essentially? Yeah, this is like quite the haul. Quite the distance to go. We are hearing some smashing going on. I'm just gonna go on manually until that's not an issue. Yeah, there's this is a very extensive tunnel system. I I do have to say, is quite insane. There's probably a lot of ants. I think somewhere around here. Can we reload the flashlight? Um, yeah, it does. This one is a little battery, so it's not gonna last a super long time. But it's better than nothing. And we could get the CBM that's like a, a headlamp. That's also something I've been considering. Like all those bullets that we spent just killing all these chuds. Oh man. Now the tunnels are mine. <laughs> There's a lot of smashing going on above us. I think that must be like a building going down. See the problem is, is if you try and do the auto travel is that it doesn't like when stuff like that happens. It doesn't really handle it very well. Speaking of which, just because the game can be a little unstable when it's like this. Just gonna do a little save. And as you can see, there's been a lot of tiles that we've uh, we've explored. I think we're in the clear for the sound, so I'm gonna just get this over, because it's faster this way. Oh, nope. It's actually fastest to go like that, I think. Yeah, there we go. Now we're cruising. See ya. Okay, there's something shooting around. There's some footsteps over hearing. I think that that might be something above or below us in the lab. Oh yeah, and there's that weird corner that we kind of wanted to check those out, but I think that honestly they could just be nothing. Or they could be like lab parts or supports for lab rooms or something, I don't know. There's a number of things. In any case, there's also this whole... Check this out. The temperature difference is crazy. We're comfortable, right? Go in here. Freezing. Freezing, freezing cold. Comfortable. So, I think... Before we go in... We might want to just go f have a nap in the tunnel. Like, kind of farther away from the, the ant hill. Where's the ant hill? It's kind of up. So maybe we go down away it's like here let's turn off the flashlight we'll uh then the earplugs yep and we'll just have us a little little nap you know honestly i think that the um our character is uh very 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 powerful character i think that i'm interested to see how Harvey's doing. Uh, I think he's probably maybe a little bit hungry or thirsty. I mean, he's been sleeping plenty, I'm sure, but I'm pretty sure we left him with enough water. I'm not sure about food. We might need to make sure he's got enough food. But the lab, the lab is really what I want to attend to because now that we're deep down, the really cool thing about this tunnel is that we've got this like little like um, kind of airlock where we can dive in and out of this uh into the cold lab and uh like maybe even set up a little charging station in here for us to charge up batteries or keep batteries like if we hoard batteries we could collect it and keep it here i'm not going to do any cbm installations here 
um, because it's just too cold for us, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, but I think that we could have like a little reunion with Harvey and possibly get some really good stuff. Because this lab, I think maybe we're on the last level. I don't think we are. I mean, I, I think it could go down like a lot more. I've had labs that go down like 20 levels. Like some that are insane. You sometimes just get like floor after floor after floor because I think it's like a random dice roll with each floor. But we'll see. I think our character should wake up soon because I don't know. And yeah, here we go. Let's get this going. We got a thermal outfit still on as well. Which has some charge, but I think we've got two other batteries that have other charge in them. Okay. You ready for this? Okay, let's get the flashlight going. And yeah, we got an enhanced memory. Yeah, I don't think I thought we explored that this area, but looks like our character doesn't remember it. So I'm gonna have to go through myself. Okay. Um, not really anything of interest there. We're getting really cold really fast. Let's go ahead and turn that on. What's this here? Some uh, sugar beets. Okay, this place is like kind of like caved in. That's concerning, to say the least. Uh, sounds like something's still smashing around. Our hands are getting frozen. Okay, I think that there's uh, clean water frozen. Have I? I feel like I've I've looked at this already. Yep. Maybe I should go down the floor. Hello. I think I've got a shot at this guy. Let's actually take a shot at the Hulk, or our shots. Um, there's a tank. Okay. Uh, that, that changes the game. If they follow me up here, that, this could be interesting. Those are like, yeah, some pretty tough enemies. We'll have to reconsider our approach with them. Okay, so let's see. Oh, if we can pry some stuff open, let's do that. I can, that's often a really easy way to get some really good stuff. Uh, clean water. It's not frozen. Sure. Let's have a little sip. Come on. There we go. Uh, multivitamins? Sure. I'll have a multivitamin. Power converter. Denatured alcohol. <laughs> I, I think that I harvested an ethanol burner CVN from something recently. Okay, that place is all knocked through. Uh, let's see. Broken skitterbot. What do we have here? I just like explore this level, I think. Man, all this ash, man. Like, what were they burning? What documents were they burning? Okay, that is interesting. Got super cold little rooms here, I'm sure. Uh, some potato chips, but we can eat them when they're frozen. And we were quite happy about that as well. It looks like they all mind that they're frozen. I mean, I suppose that that's not gonna ruin potato chips, right? I think I would agree with the, the coders in that regard. Okay. Um, not the book that I was hoping for. I honestly don't even have that high of hopes when I see that. Okay, we're starting to be in pain. That's probably a sign that we should um, head back. I just want to really quick because we haven't even encountered any of these really. Just check up on this stuff. Okay, um, I think it might be time for us to head back. Uh, yes, and as soon as I say that, look, we got company. 
Um, do I want to? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna smash it. And yes, we got lucky. I'd rather deal with the pain than being getting colder. I'm gonna just open that up. Let's have a peek. Okay, let's get back up. Good. So we're gonna be doing a lot better here, but not gonna be comfortable. I mean, it'd be nice if we could like knock down the walls or blow out a hole in the walls right here to the side here, because that would be a nice like up down route, you know. And we can also start a fire, <laughs> but that's that's not a good idea. Not a good policy. What is this right here? A barracks? Yeah, sure, unlock. There's something in there, though. Um, and I think I want to warm up before we encounter whatever is in there. So let's just kind of come out here for a minute. Oh, our thermal outfit ran out of charge. Okay, that would explain things. Uh, yeah, can I just drop that? I mean, I, I want to, you know, use it, but... Not right now. Okay, so here's the deal, is we gotta just maybe... And I kinda wanna play the game to get our morale up, but I think that we're good. So we'll just kinda wait for like five minutes. Oh, we're in pain, man. We're in a lot of pain. I think that my body's not happy with us uh, freezing ourselves there. Let's go ahead and get back in there, though. Um, and we're going to... Just kind of fight the pain with um, our, our flashlights actually out of charge. Okay, well let's let's find some charge for the uh, the battery then, huh? What do we have in here? Anything that has charge? No, I and mean, we could easily start a fire in the tunnels, and I think that'd be pretty safe. And then we have a lot of flammable stuff here, and we have a lighter. If I wanted to, I could do that. But I don't think I, I want to do that. What's this right here? I'm... Uh, no, that's... Th that medium battery is what I'm carrying. Okay. So, let's see. Let's just have a little gander. I've been up here. There was that... That's where those big zombies were. Kind of exploring this way, right? Yeah. We were like... Checking this all out. Big boss room's got nothing in the desks. Any books in this, maybe? Nope. Okay. That is a shame. There's a downstairs route right there, which I do want to check out. But let's see what's... Any seeds? No. Okay. A shame. Uh, what do we have here? Prisoner containment. Okay, that almost always has, like, not that great of stuff. Oh, experimental mutant. I'm not familiar with you. Huh. Can I just read their description for a second before I kill them? Oh, jeez. I wish I could recruit you. I mean, you don't sound too far off from uh, Harvey, if I'm completely honest. Wow, you were tough. Sorry, man. In another life, we could have been friends. There's a thermometer here. Uh, what's the temperature? Negative 37 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a. Uh, I mean, it's not as bad as negative 37 degrees Celsius, but it's not. Uh, it's not toasty either. You know. Yeah, this area is probably a bust, but there can be some some good books in here. Or, like, there's, like, soda there, you know? Like, if we really got desperate, there's, like, stuff we can drink and eat in here. Like, we can live off the lab, like, plenty fine. Quite a while. Even a cold lab. A cold lab's a little bit harder, because, you know, it's cold, right? But as you can see, we have some battery power. And if you have, like, a, a way of charging batteries, 
It's just a matter of, of diving, you know, and extending your, you know, like oxygen tank per se, you know. Uh, wheat cereal. Mmm, yum. My favorite. Okay, we're not enjoying that anymore. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Alright. Anything in here? Fish serum. Okay. Sure. I'll take that. We got a lot of serums that we've collected. Library entrance. Yes. That's... That's why I, I really want... Um... How are we doing ammo wise? Just checking it. The gun owner's handbook. I think that that might be one that I want, but I'm pretty sure that it's not anything like groundbreaking. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I'm like super impressed with right now. Oh, fruit leathers. Okay, I'll snack on that. That's actually healthy for us. Cool. Um. Yeah, I know I should be collecting stuff, but yeah. Okay, um well, that's a real shame there. What's behind the glass here? Crawler and crack. Okay. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay, um so I it's almost certain that this is a dead end. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I thought. Okay, uh, well, let's see. What's going on with our power here? Uh, sensory doling, we don't need to be running that. Why am I draining power so fast? I think we need to get, like, some battery power or something to go in here pretty quick. Um,. Can we just turn that off, maybe? Oh, it's the event Enhanced Mary Banks. Really? That seemed to be draining a lot there. Or maybe we're just moving so slow. Because we're chilly. I think we're just moving so slow. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Let's just warm ourselves up. Their character needs it. There we go. Get yourself nice and toasty. Okay. Um, get that going as well. Yeah, see, we're going to start running into some issues here. We're going to need some more, like, batteries. ASAP. What do we have here? I know that there's there's some around, so I'm not like too concerned. My issue is hoping that I find them soon rather than later. Um then... Okay, there might be something in here. These boxes can have... Oh, there's plutonium cells, which is a great loot, but not exactly what I was going for. There we go. Okay, nope. It's not... But we need anything here. Nope, okay. Shame. Okay, what about here? I need... Get in there, please. Okay, well, looks like we can't really. Anything in here, maybe? Nope. Okay. We're starting to lose light. Um, Okay, we we're like out of battery power. Okay, we'll. Dang. What about here? <laughs> An acetylene torch. <laughs> Not gonna quite work. I 
I didn't think that we were gonna run out of light. That's that's me just mismanaging things. Okay, well, let's see where did we come from here? Right there and there. Okay, here we go. It's uh, it's this. The uh, oh, actually, we're freezing. We need to just like get. Oh, that's not even turned on. Jesus. I didn't realize how much limb damage we just had re been receiving. Let's get up and out. I think we need to just get out. Oh my gosh. Let's get that going as well. Let's see. Um, what was... I just need to look around and see what was the ways that we have here. Okay, well here's... This, this will help us get at least to not dying from the cold, you know? Right here, if we just rest here. Like, yeah, that should help us not die from the cold. <laughs> oh man, that's bad. Okay, well, while our limbs are healing, I think that we need to just uh, get a game plan and get up and out. I think, wasn't there like stairs up like around here? Like everything was getting smashed. Um, ba -ba -ba. It's not there. I think it was like, yeah, that up and over area. Most positive. There's something like it around here. Near the spider webs. Right? No? Yep, here we go. This is it. Okay. Um. Dang, this is gonna be kinda tricky because our character doesn't remember going through here. I'm gonna have to navigate in the dark. I kind of remember this. Yeah, we put planks down. Um, what's this right here? Well, I think I'm, I need the battery power myself for my biotic, so I'm going to grab that. But we need something really for our flashlight. <laughs> Which not, we're not really seeing. Unfortunately. Uh, what's this right here? Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, let's open that up. Hey, more, more battery power. If only our flashlight took that. Or if only we had the CBM for the flashlight in our head. Then we could be we would be in, in working order, but I think for now, hey, we're on the surface. Okay. Um let's see. There you are, friend. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. If I look at you, tired, we'll need water in less than twelve. You're kinda hungry too. Okay, well you got some needs that you need taken care of, but you look like you're fine, which is good. Uh, can I reload that? Yep. And we'll just drop that. Well, actually, that's just kind of... We gotta take a minute and just kind of take care of our inventory. Oh, I'm also way over our half an hour I just saw. So I think I'll do the inventory management stuff on my own. But yeah, that was the tunnels and us getting back to the surface through the cold. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange Will.